Once we have our investment grade rating secure, then we can start to look at acquisitions and with all the turmoil that's taking place in real estate now. Uh, my mouth is watering. As soon as the opportunity comes up, we're keeping our eye on it, but give us the capacity to acquire. Uh, I think we'll do some uh, very good transactions that our stockholders will be happy with. I'm here with Ernest Rady, Chairman and CEO of American Assets Trust. What issues do you expect to be prioritizing at American Assets Trust over the short to medium term? Well, in the short and medium term, we have one project that we have to lease up. It's the best office building in San Diego, and it's the best location. And it's part of a three building uh, complex, and the other two buildings are 100% occupied. This building we just finished, and we're now amenitizing it. So we're amenitizing it, and we're starting to lease it up now, and when that gets leased up, it's gonna make a significant difference, not so much to our cash flow, but to our growth. So uh, although last year we had the best year uh, in history in terms of uh, uh, FFO, uh, this year may be flat, may be a little up, but once we get this last building leased, uh, it's right next to uh, uh, with the major shopping center in San Diego, right at the confluence of all the three ways. It's part of a, a, of a three building complex, which at one point was worth a billion, and I don't know what it's worth today, but uh, it's still very valuable, at least in my heart and mind. <laughs> and what do you see as the greatest growth potential for American Assets Trust in the second half of the year and into 2025? Once we have our investment grade rating secure, then we can start to look at acquisitions and with all the turmoil that's taking place in real estate now, uh, my mouth is watering. As soon as the opportunity comes up, we're keeping our eye on it, but give us the capacity to acquire, uh, I think we'll do some uh, very good transactions that our stockholders will be happy with. And is there a particular project or current initiative currently underway at American Assets Trust that you are especially excited about in terms of its ability to generate growth and enhance shareholder value? Well, I think that goes back to the La Jolla Commons 3 again. You know, we're a diversified uh, real estate investment trust and our retail is as good as anybody's in the country and it's doing very well. And our residential is also excellent. We also uh, have some opportunities, in, an opportunity in San Francisco where we own two buildings. One of them is 100% occupied with, uh, between Google and Autodesk. And the other is a building that we repositioned right overlooking the uh, Fisherman's Wharf and overlooking the bay but uh, San Francisco is now uh, struggling at best. And so uh, my uh, uh, expectation is that it will not lease as quickly as, as La Jolla Commons 3. But the rest of our portfolio is, is doing very well. And of course, we have uh, uh, some debt uh, uh, that's rolling, and uh, I wish the interest rates would come down. Of course, when interest rates went up, REIT stocks went down. If interest rates come down, we'd like to refinance some of our uh, rolling debt. Although we have over $100 million cash in the bank, uh, we've maintained, increased our dividend, and uh, I hope the stockholders are happy because uh, we've seen the price of our stock decline, and that's been uh, less than joyous, let's put it that way.